hello guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i'll be showing you how you can get more vibrant um, and saturated colors for gaming specifically for valorant so usually on desktop it's a very easy process where um, you just change the settings in the nvidia control panel but it's not that simple in laptop so before we get into the video this uh, is specifically for people um, who are using amd cpu and an nvidia graphics card so if you have an amd um, gpu i mean an amd apu uh, such as mine the ryzen 5 5600h or uh, ryzen 7 ryzen 9 but it should have integrated graphics so uh, my integrated graphics are the radeon graphics and dedicated graphics is the G gtx 1650 so if i show you uh, when i go into nvidia control panel there's only 3d uh, uh, and program settings here there's no display settings and uh, even in geforce experience there's no um, settings to change the color of the game so um, so to get around this basically i'll explain you what optimus is first so what your uh, cpu what your uh, when you play your game what it's doing is your dedicated graphics is rendering the game and then pushing the frames out of your integrated graphics so that's why you don't see a black screen every time you open up a 3d application so basically your display is running out of your integrated graphics now to change your display you'll need to have to change the settings in the integrated graphics in our case it's going to be the amd graphics so um what you want to do is first i'll first show you a before and after so i'm in valorant right now and i'll just hop into a custom game or i'll just go into practice and i'll show you the difference in the color and vibrant settings before and after applying the settings and it's very easy to do uh guys quick note here uh, what happened is for some reason my screen recorder uh, OBS studio didn't pick up the difference in color while recording this video So I'll have to edit the video out and um, put color effects But uh, if you if you follow exactly if you follow the same steps that I do in the video and change the color settings in your uh, AMD control panel you will obviously see a difference and uh, uh, the before and after screenshots also I can't add it because uh, obviously I'll have to edit the image and put it which is not going to be fair so um, I'll also leave a pinned comment about this and why it happened it's it happened basically because I should have changed the color uh, settings for my entire display instead of just the game for the screen recorder to pick it up but um, in my case I did it during while recording the video and I changed the settings specifically for Valorant so that's why my OBS studio didn't pick up the change in color and it might look really dumb to you in the end but that's why i added to put this uh, that's why i thought of putting this uh, small segment here in the middle I, i'm really sorry for the inconvenience i'll also show you a side by side comparison i'll take screenshots of both the uh, results uh, the before and after and i'll show you uh, the screenshots of both on screen they are so dead Okay, so this is how the game looks without any optimization. So it looks very dull and the colors aren't bright at all. And these are my graphic settings by the way. I play on all low settings. Only I, I keep anti-aliasing at 4x and uh, antistropic filtering, anistropic filtering at 8x. And experimental sharpening is on to give the game that extra sharp look. Otherwise everything looks too blurry. So these are your before settings, now your after settings. So how do you change these settings? So first you want to go, uh, you want to right click on your desktop and click on show more options. You should find your uh, graphics softwares over here. So in my case, two graphics cards, Nvidia and AMD. So I can find both here. However, on Windows 11, you might even find it in the basic menu. So click on this. Or if you don't find it over there, simply go into your search menu and type um, AMD and you should see your software pop up there. So. Uh, open up your AMD software go into you'll be met with if you have the adrenaline edition software that's the latest this will be your home screen so uh, go into your gaming section select your game like in my case Valorant is the only game I play so it shows only Valorant and um, go into your uh, once you click on Valorant if you have multiple games click on Valorant you'll be met with this screen and here you want to go into custom color so enable this and then disable color temperature control you don't want to be messing with this setting it, it can make your game look really ugly uh, for my for my pc for my display the optimum settings i figured out is 110 for contrast and 160 for saturation now you might notice that my display is also changing color but as soon as you close valorant your display will go back to normal settings so with these settings 
I'll go into Valorant and this is how vibrant the game looks now. The enemies look much more clearer, the colors pop, it's it's so much nicer to play so For this video I won't be showing footage of other maps, it's just gonna be the range because many people use the range as benchmark. So this is how it looks. I'm gonna click on practice and show you the enemies. So that was the before and after comparison. If you don't want such intense saturation, you can always reduce it in the settings. And your desktop will go back to its normal vibrance, uh, its normal saturation and contrast as soon as you quit Valorant. So yeah, that's how to change your color settings in if you're on a la if you're if you're on an AMD laptop. I don't know the settings for an Intel laptop or if you're on Nvidia dedicated graphics. So there will be different tutorials out there on YouTube. You can find them and follow them along. But I thought this tutorial. I was searching for this tutorial myself, and I found that there are very few videos, and they're not popular at all. So I thought I'd make one anyways, and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, leave a like, comment on the video, and um, share it with your friends if they have an AMD laptop too. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.